You just got wrecked. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Having a look at Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Oh my goodness, the markets are green. What is going on? Well, we could see right here, Bitcoin actually had a bit of a breakout. It's kind of trying to break out as I'm making this video right now. We got up to about $7,100. Currently, we're having a little bit of resistance. Could be totally different by the time you're watching this video. You can see lots of people calling for this classic bump and run reverse reversal pattern where you can see we sort of get held down by resistance. We have a little bit of trouble and then boom, we skyrocket. Now, if this is actually the pattern that is currently playing out right now, then you would be looking for Bitcoin to go up to about the $10,500 level. This is a very similar move that Bitcoin did at the end of the bear market in the beginning of 2019 before we had the massive blast off. So the big question today is, is this the real deal or is this just a fake out? Well, I do want to talk about three possible scenarios for Bitcoin. What could be happening right now if this actually is something we should be getting excited about? And I also want to go into the fact that, uh, well, we do have some interesting data from China and Chinese investors might actually be looking to buy the dip or at least invest in Bitcoin in Q2. And I do have some good slash sort of bad news for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency YouTube. Definitely stick around for that. If that sounds good to you, you know what to do. If you're not subscribed, definitely consider it. We do this every single day. And without further ado, let's dive in. Now, in yesterday's video, we did talk about a very bearish scenario, a uh, you know very negative scenario for Bitcoin. Lots of people tend to tell me I'm a little bit too bullish. Well, guys, what can I say? I am a Bitcoin bull for life, but I did want to be realistic and I want to let you know that there is still a potential for a massive dump. You know, we could still see Bitcoin retest some of these lower levels and break out to the downside. Even even though we are having this breakout right now, keep in mind, even if Bitcoin was to go all the way up to even the $7,200 level, that would still technically be a lower high for Bitcoin. So although this is exciting right now, we do want to still see Bitcoin get above the $7,200 level, right? Now, actually talking about this classic bump and run reversal pattern, which could send Bitcoin back to 10,500. I'm going to explain what that is. Essentially, you can see right here, it's a downtrend that leads into a massive vertical sell-off. Then you have a flat pattern, a rally past the downtrend line formed in, and a throwback to the trend line before a surge higher that basically leaves the bottom far behind. You can see right here, it says the textbook formation technician Charles Bulkowski, best performer out of 56 chart patterns suggest that Bitcoin could trade as high as $10,000 at the start of next month. Or if we actually look at this chart right here, basically we could get back to the $10,500 level. Very similar to what we put in, like I said, in the beginning of the start of the bull run that we had last year, um, you know, with the exception of this little jut, although it all depends on what chart you look at. Obviously, Bitcoin's price is slightly different on all the charts. This is Brave Liquid Index BLX. I really like this chart because they they have a lot of data it goes way, way, way back to, uh, I think it goes back to like 20, yeah, 2010. So very, very long history of Bitcoin data in this chart. But you can see right here that we're actually still being held down by this resistance that pretty much started all the way back around February 14th, 15th. You can see right here, we hit the resistance, we fell here again, here we fell again, right here we got held down by the 50 day moving average. And currently we are testing it again for the past four days days. So the question is, is this actually something to get excited for? Well, what we really need to do is put in a nice solid daily closing candle. We need to get above this level today. We need to close out the day on it, preferably even close the week out above it. And then I would become very bullish. Now, if we were to get above that, then that would pretty much send Bitcoin. I don't know if it's going to go directly to 10,500, but you would be looking for the $8,000 level. Now, keep in mind, if we do get rejected, the only thing below that would be holding us is the VPVR at around 6,600. And if we were to take a straight fall down to the bottom, you're talking 6,000 dollars already. Now, keep in mind, we do have the 200 weekly moving average, right? That is, uh, do I have that pulled up here? Let me see if I have a weekly chart. I could change it to the weekly real quick. 
If we actually pull that chart up, well, it's basically around the $5,600 level. I know where it is. If you guys want me to pull it up, I can. I can do it super quick. Uh, let me go to the one week. Let me go to the 200. And uh, yeah, so the 200 is sitting at $5,638. So I mean, still technically, if we stay above that, that would actually be bullish for Bitcoin. Now, we were talking about how this looked like it was falling out of an ascending wedge. Here's the interesting thing. If we actually take this now and pull this down to the purple trend that we had, this this overall actually does start to look very similar to what we had starting back in December of last year. So you can see that these are starting to look like Bitcoin may want to potentially even bounce around here before having another drop. Or if we can actually hold and get above the $8,000 level, then that would be bullish for Bitcoin. But here are three possibilities right now, short term, because I know everybody wants to know what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, over here, Livercoin actually pointed out, he says, you know, I I've been in Bitcoin for a while, and from my experience, these are usually the three patterns. Number one being the reversal, which would be the bump and run reversal going back to the $10,500 level. We could have a fake out to the upside, which would be that $8,000 level we've been looking at, and then it would reverse. Or there might be a fake out uh, continuation reversal, which that's not happening right now. So essentially, you're pretty much looking for either a pump to $8,000 rejected or a pump all the way to uh, $10,500, right? So that is the situation moving forward. Let me know, are you short-term bullish or bearish? Either way, we still have the 21 exponential, which is going to be holding us down at 7,600 and having a look at the ultimate trend for Bitcoin. This is like the, the, the granddaddy from top to bottom, bottom to top. We're basically smack dab in the middle. And you can see right here, we've had a lot of support on this yellow trend line. This was what was holding us at the bottom of last year. So currently, we, or not last year, excuse me, the, um, yeah, well, the, it was the 2018 bear market right before we had the drop. So, I mean, technically, we're sort of right in the middle ground, right in no man's land for Bitcoin. We're kind of like, it could go to the top, it could go to the bottom, but really, it's almost like we're sort of just trading right at the average of where you would expect Bitcoin to be after all of the crazy bull and crazy bear. So that is that situation moving forward. There is a super bearish prediction uh, over here for Crypto Hamster. He says that if we do sort of have a retest of the previous high, that could actually drop Bitcoin all the way down to $975. What, Crypto Hamster? Well, it could happen. It could happen. But, um, you know, let's just take it a day at a time. As you guys can see over here, though, Bitcoin is still looking to push up. So if you're impatient and you are looking to make even more money than simply just dollar cost averaging, you can use something like Bybit. For example, you can use leverage. This is very risky. I do not recommend it for beginners. But, you know, a 5% move, 3x leverage could be a 15% move. But keep in mind, if Bitcoin goes the other way, you could also lose money very quickly. But if you're interested in learning how to trade on leverage, I do have a tutorial popping up above. Also, links below, they do help the channel if you choose to use them, and you can get a $90 bonus. They're also doing a uh, Tether sort of promotion right now, which if you wanna check that out, they're doing a bit of a giveaway for that as well. Now, here is the sort of bad slash good slash bad potential news for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency on YouTube. Now, we basically have Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse essentially looking to sue YouTube because of all of these scam giveaways. Now, we've seen this affect a lot of people, right? You have Ethereum doing giveaways. You have, um, you know, Ripple doing giveaways. So basically, they say the scammers are promising to send back up to 5 million XRP worth nearly 1 million. Now, if you're new to crypto, anytime anybody has any sort of a send me this much and I'll send you back that much, it's a scam, okay? There's never a situation where they're gonna ask you to send them money and then they're gonna send you back more money. Just do not do it. Now, we've actually seen a lot of YouTubers get affected, right? We saw Crypto Crow recently get, get affected by it. We saw BTC Sessions and now Nicholas Merton from Data Dash. He's also being affected by this as well. So guys, I don't know if this is gonna happen to me, but just so you guys can keep in contact with me in case this does happen, please go over to my YouTube. It is, or excuse me, my Twitter it's at the crypto zombie. Just give me a follow, guys. I'm not gonna like bombard your timeline with a bunch of like, you know, I usually actually just do a lot of reposts, honestly. I usually just retweet a lot of things, but definitely go follow me over there just in case some crazy stuff does happen and tomorrow I wake up and I don't have a YouTube channel. Um, also, I'm gonna be looking to get into some other decentralized things as well. Probably make a second YouTube channel and do some other like Instagram, maybe even TikTok type things. So I will keep you guys involved on that. But, you know, having a look over here, they say forever. 
scam giveaway fake conspiracy that is taken down. Multiple more pop up. YouTube and other big technology and social media platforms must be held accountable for not implementing sufficient processes for fighting these scams. So please be safe out there. Please be careful. And also know that on my channel specifically, you know, if you go down into the comments, I don't do giveaways down there. Okay. And if anybody's trying to tell you to like, you know, go over to this, uh, you know, uh, uh, this guy, like John so-and-so, he made me so much money. And then they do like WhatsApp numbers, all scams. Don't fall for it. If it sounds too good to be true, rule of thumb, probably is. All right. So definitely go give me a follow over on uh, Twitter at the crypto zombie so we can stay in touch guys. And, uh, oh, I do have one more uh, thing as well. And this is from China. So search trends emerging from China show that Bitcoin uh, searches are up and they're saying it could hit an all time high in the next 12 months. They report that Chinese savers are actually moving into riskier assets to earn better yields. Bitcoin trading is still technically banned in China, but I mean, let's be honest, you can't really ever ban Bitcoin, right? So you can see that the proximity between Google's rising Bitcoin trends and Chinese investors hunt for riskier assets are likely not a coincidence. In fact, having a look over here at what CN Ledger tweeted, they say due to the recent price surge, Bitcoin tops today's uh, Baidu hottest emerging keyword. So Baidu is basically like China's Google. So is it on the rise in China? Are Chinese investors looking to buy the dip? Are they the ones that are pumping Bitcoin right now? Could be, could be possible. Let me know what you guys think about it. We did have a very bearish video yesterday. Let me know if you do think some of those bearish possibilities could play out, or do you think, no way, not gonna happen. Bitcoin's going straight to $10,500. Let me know, drop a comment below. That being said, I will see you guys tomorrow in another video. Hope you're enjoying your day. Be safe out there. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much. Do consider getting subscribed if you haven't. Join my free Telegram group. It is in the description below. And if you are interested in trading, you can do that over on Bybit. You can long and short Bitcoin, so you can make money if Bitcoin moves either way. And uh, yeah, I think that's about enough for me today. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. You guys rock. My name is K-Dub. This is Crypto Zombie. Until next time, stay crypto. And of course, peace out.